up you guys you turn gaming here here today with a boom another boom beach video so I apologize for the microphone issues I had with the last video but yeah I'm, gonna, I'm trying a different recording method this video so let me know which one you guys like better so first let's go here and as you can see I attacked dr. terror so this first stage is super easy as always I just threw an artillery on everything that could possibly damage me. So there, and I just drop my troops down around here, and then they just totally destroy this base, because there's nothing that can stop them. And boom, there it goes. So, next replay, Dr. Terror Stage 2. As you can see, we took this one out here. Pretty much same thing. I threw a couple barrage on these defenses, since they were close to the HQ, so we could get some of that damage on the HQ as well. And artillery is on everything else, and an artillery on that mine, and just drop all the troops down and basically let them take out the whole base. And then once again, through a few artillery, just at miscellaneous objects there. And here you can see the smallest amount of health left on that HQ, but you know, no biggie because my troops will just go over there and absolutely wreck it. Here I tried to, yeah, yeah, never mind. And next, Dr. Terror Stage 3. This is where it starts to get at least a little bit hard. So on this one, the first thing I do is take out the, the shock launcher. Because as you guys know, that is the worst defense in Boom Beach. You always want to take that out before you attack. Because it will just stop your troops and, from whatever they're doing. And then I throw a barrage on that cluster of buildings over there, including the rocket launcher. And then drop my troops down in the corner and throw a shock on those three machine guns. So that they just don't get any damage off. And then throw a shock on that high level flamethrower and machine gun so my troops are just basically taking out this whole base that level one cannon isn't really going to do much but i'll just throw a shock on it anyway because i have a lot of gunboat energy so only two two defenses left my troops are pretty much all on the hq except for this one suka that they started to stray over here so i threw a smoke on her so that sniper tower wouldn't take her off nah sorry pick her off and then flawless victory again but here, Terror Stage 4, as you can see, we attacked, but it was not successful. And basically what I- basi oh wait, never mind, I'm sorry. This attack I retreated halfway through because I had to- I had to leave. So then- so now let's actually try to take out Dr. Terror Stage 4 and see if we can do it. Alright, so first thing, I'm just gonna throw a barrage over here on the mortar to take out all of those mines. And then throw two artillerys on this rocket launcher, so it doesn't get any damage to my Zookas. Actually, it's gonna, it's gonna take three, because of these massive boots that Dr. Terror has going here. So, I'll, well, I'm gonna drop them all in the right corner. Heavy's first, Zookas in the back. And just let them take out whatever they're going to. Throw a shock bomb on these three cluster buildings right there. And then here, I gotta take out this rocket launcher really quick so that it doesn't take out my Zookas, because... It can it has free range on those, but oh wait, never mind. My heavies were still protecting them. Okay, so that was good. Now these heavies taking out the boom cannon and flamethrower. I'm gonna flare them up here with some smoke so that they won't get damaged. And then med kick. Some of these zookas walked over a mine. It looks like. Okay, so we only have lost two zookas so far, and we're pretty much on the HQ. So I'm gonna shock these three mortars right here. Or ooh, wow, I actually got four mortars and that machine gun over there so very effective shock bomb right there and all my troops are on the hq right now i'm gonna heal up these heavy so that they don't go down and any minute now boom there goes the hq so dr terror stage four goes down so let me know what you guys think Ooh, we got a masterpiece sorry so let me know what you guys think about this new update with dr terror is only seven stages personally i like the old way better I could have made more entertaining videos for you guys, but that's okay, because this is still fun. So, here I'm going to create that um, idol that I just got the shards for. And here, here's a, here's a look at my base. So, right now I'm at HQ 15. All my cannons are level 11, which is when they start to look blue and really cool. All my boom cannons are level, are level 6, which is when they start to look cool. And then my rocket launcher is level 5, which is pretty good, and that's maxed out for my HQ level. And then... But I don't know about you guys, what HQ level you guys are, but I'm 15, and that's when you can unlock this weapons lab. But it requires a lot, a lot, a lot of loot to 
unlock it. And I haven't been able to get that yet. So, it, co it actually costs more loot for that than it costs me to upgrade my town hall. Or, sorry, headquarters. Town halls and clash clans. Which is pretty ridiculous, in my opinion. But, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to save up that much loot to be able to buy that. Because that is obviously a super important building. But, I'll try to do that for you guys as soon as I can. And then, ooh, we can come in here and create a dark guardian. So now let's jump up these troops and take a look at Dr. Terror Stage 5. Ooh, he's level 48. Yeah, two shock launchers, three boom cannons, a rocket launcher. To be honest with you guys, I'm not sure we can take this one. So I don't think I'm going to waste my entire army on it. I think we're just going to take another player base. Ooh, another little Easter egg, not Easter egg, little glitch from the update was that even though, as you guys know, you can like switch out landing crafts like this now and you can also do that with buildings so you can just drag one where the other one was and switch it right there as you can see but whenever you do that the landing crafts they appear in the right order and then once you when you attack a base they deploy in the right order but when you're scouting a base and your troops available for attack are in the bottom left hand corner they're in the wrong order they're in the order that you train them up in not in the order that the boats are but then when you hit attack they're in, the, they're in the right order again. So, just a little interesting fact there. So, here, click this two diamonds, yay. And then, let's take a look at this resource base. I haven't looked at it yet. Oof. I think we can take it. It's a high level flamethrower. Only level 10 cannons. I said we should go for it. So, drop. I'm gonna drop all my troops right in from this flamethrower. And shock it right Im immediately so that it can't get any shots off because flamethrowers do massive damage. Now I'm gonna shock these three buildings right here. Sorry guys, there was a bit of a. Re my recording app that I was using crashed. So, it is actually tomorrow. So I'm going to just show you the end of the attack that uh, we started live. So here, you saw this part. They're taking out the... Pretty much everything. And now they spread out. The, he the heavies evenly spread out, protecting the Zookas. And then the Zookas just take there and... Just stand there and take out the HQ really quickly. So that was actually a really easy attack. So now, Dr. Terror has landed again, so I figured we might as well attack him again. Now, okay, so, here's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop all my troops on this corner over here, so we don't even have to deal with these five defenses. So, but first I'm gonna take out the rocket launcher. Because that will do work on all my heavies. I'm gonna flare them up here so they don't get off track and then take out the rocket launcher and that mortar there before I can get any shots off. Here they are coming up here. I'll flare them over here right in front of the HQ. And then, yeah, it should be a game over. Let's see if this sniper can hit us. Nope, the sniper can't hit us, so. <laughs> There's a little cool bunch of smokes. So I had a bunch of gunpowder ener energy left over. There we go. Okay, so let's attack the next stage here. So, first things first. Always gonna want to take out the shock launcher. Ah, oh, that's not quite enough. So I'm gonna throw one more artillery at it. And then since bar since barrage is cheaper, I'll throw a barrage at this boom cannon. And see if that yeah that'll be enough to take it out. And I'll just ignore this machine gun because it won't be able to do much to my heavies. Actually, I'm gonna flare to it so that it won't take out my zookas while my heavies are already ahead of them. So we'll just take that out nice and easy here. And boom, there it goes. And then I'm going to flare over here 
to these crates so we can avoid those defenses. Well, it looks like that cannon has turned and maybe we'll get a shot off on the Marzukas. Nope, it looks like they just walked in the right path. So now I'm going to flare them all the way up to the very corner here. Throw a med kit because a few of them took a tiny bit of damage from that machine gun. And then looks like they have a point that they can just take out this HQ without being hit at all. So might as well like throw some artillery at it. And boom, artillery takes it down. Once again, Dr. Terror, Volcano Island, Stage 2, goes down, casualty free. Two diamonds there. Okay, now, this is when it starts to get hard. Stage 3. Um, we don't want to take out these mines and that boom mine there. And this boom cannon. And then, yes. So I'll barrage both of those so that the, the barrage can do a bunch of damage on both of them. Ah, oh, but because of the boost, neither of them are quite taken out. So I should have taken out one of them instead of done most damage to both of them. Because now they can shoot me the whole time. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop my, my troops on the side that the HQ is. And I used all my gunboat energy on those so I don't have enough for a shock bomb even. But here we go, there's enough for one shock bomb. So... I guess I'm going to shock bomb this rocket launcher and boom cannon. Um, that boom cannon is actually such a low level, it doesn't really do much to my heavies. But now I'm going to flare to this rocket launcher so that, yes, I didn't take out my Zookas. And then I'll take out the boom cannon as well. So now I'm just going to flare to the HQ, tell them to go for it, guys. And then I'm going to throw a med kit on all those heavies to keep them up and alive. Oh, man, there's another shock launcher over here I didn't even see. Oh, well, it's okay, because my Zookas are still in the back doing all the damage, and the heavies are still protecting them, so. Zo all those Zookas just have so much damage, the HQ can't handle it. And there it goes down, and it looks like we only lost one Zooka there. So, pretty good amount of loot, you know. So, got one Zooka. Ooh, we actually have quite a bit of loot. We'll be able to upgrade something big at the end of this episode. So, I'll rebuild that one Zooka. Uh, three diamonds, no biggie. I want to a look at this base. Two levels higher than me. Oof. I don't know. Four cannons and boom cannons and a rocket launcher and level 20 mortars. Uh, YOLO. Let's go for it, guys. Okay, so this time I'm going to not really use any artillery or barrage. I'm going to focus on shock bombs because of, because the defenses have so much health that I won't be able to take them out very easily. Oh no, I got a few they got a few shots off on my zookas. So I'm going to heal those up so that they're at full health. No, I actually am going to take out this rocket launcher so that I can't take out any of my zookas. Okay, there it goes down as well as the double hit with the mortar. But I'm gonna let them take out these two snipers and then reflare them. Come on, guys. And then reflare them up here with some smokes and a med kit. And we'll see. Ugh, we've lost like six heavies already. So I don't know about this one, guys. Although we, we do have a lot of gunpowder energy, so I'm gonna start throwing in some shock bombs and another med kit here. And then maybe another shock bomb on these buildings. Two mortars and boom cannon. And then we don't have enough for another shock bomb. So I'm going to throw a med kit on the few heavies that remain. And flare them all to the HQ. See if these Zookas can take it out. Or if that mortar will take them out first. Come on Zookas. Oh no. Oh man all the heavies are down. It's just up to you guys Zookas. Take it out. Oh man, that mortar's doing work on them. Will we be able to do it? Oh man, it's a close one. That boom cannon's picking them off one by one, but it's really that mortar that's doing damage. Oh man, guys, look at how close this is. Oh, yes! We take it out with only six Zookas left. Yes. So there we go. Woo, that was a very satisfying victory. So there we go, quite a bit of loot, and a dark shard, as well as intel from my task force. 12 
Yeah, 12 helis lost and 18 zookas. Speaking of my task force, the task force that I'm in right now, guys, is the Avengers. Um, I just kind of stumbled upon it. I've been in there for, like, a while. We do some pretty good operations, you know. I'll probably do an operation recap pretty soon. We're also attacking an operation. So stay tuned for that. And like, comment, and subscribe if you- Ooh, I'm sorry. We still have to upgrade something. Um... My thinking is, if I upgrade the radar, then we will be able to get this clear over here. And as you guys can see, that is Hammerman's HQ. So if we take that out, then I think that I'm pretty sure we'll be able to that'll be, make a really cool video for you guys. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to upgrade my radar, and that'll be done in 16 hours. So then I'll need to save up, save up enough gold to get this. And scout out Hammond's HQ and see what he's got planned for us. So, thank you guys. And please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Peace.